guys, what's going on? Derek here from He and She Fitness. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about triceps, do a little filming, and um, kind of show you one of my routines that I do. I switch between a couple different exercises for triceps, um, but I keep it pretty simple. I keep the total set work somewhere between four and six sets. I do them every two or three days and I try to give them just enough work to cause protein synthesis. I don't try to work them for an hour at a time. I don't try to incorporate multiple muscle groups. I just try to work the tricep and I try to hit multiple heads um, during my workout. And I accomplish that by a couple different movements. I do my form of skull crushers with the barbell and then I switch those over to more of a close grip uh, bench press and I superset those two. And that's what I'll be doing today. I'll be doing probably three working sets of each. So three working sets, but six total sets. Uh, what I mean by that is a set of the skull crusher, the, the forehead press outward with the barbell right into a close grip chest press as my super set. So three rounds of that, so six total sets. Um, another variation I'll show you at some point would be with the cables and that would be with a regular overhand grip, pushing downward and then switching to an underhand grip, um, which gets more of this, this inner head here of the tricep. So I always switch between two different exercises uh, to make sure that I'm getting more than just my outer head. I wanna get all of the angles of the triceps work in each workout and I wanna exhaust them, create a pump, but at the same time, I don't want to injure the muscle or um, go overboard because I want to train it again in anywhere from two to three days. So I'm going to get started, do my first set. We can talk after that. There's plenty of time to rest between the sets. Uh, here goes with the first one. So I take my barbell here, preloaded with weight. I take a seat on the bench. Now, I guess this could be kind of dangerous, so you have to kind of make sure that you're supporting your back and your arms well at the same time. Um, you don't want to have the weight land on you and you don't want to swing it funky. So I lay all the way down, move the bar towards me, press up in kind of a bench press manner, and then I adjust my grip inward. So I'm working my uh, triceps, and then what I do is I go into a skull crusher. Nice and slow, make sure you push up and out during the movement. So not only away from your forehead, but almost like you're pushing upward. Get it out. Utilize the the uh, tricep and make sure you're pressing down. Guys, I'm having a brain fart. Like I've been calling triceps forearms this whole time. Um, I'm working my triceps, the back part of my arm. So if I did that earlier in the video, I apologize. It's not what I meant. I meant my triceps. And right now I'm working the outer head. Oh, and it burns bad. Oh. And I'm just about at failure, so I'm going to switch over to a close grip bench, and I'm going to do that to failure. Work the whole muscle. Oh. I am locking out just to squeeze at the end. You don't have to. You can kind of do a partial rep, and you can keep the tension on. You can switch to a full lockout. It's kind of... I like to start with a couple full lockouts just to get the whole range of motion to get the blood pumping and then sometimes I switch to a shorter press just to keep the tension on the muscle. Oh, and it hurts. And there we go. That's about it. Wow. Again, area I'm referring to is the tricep there. When you're nice and lean, you start to get a nice horseshoe and two heads down here. So. Again, if I've been calling them forearms, that would be this area of the arm. Triceps is what we're working today. Sorry about that. So that was my first complete set. I call it two sets because it went from the skull crusher motion to, um, to the actual uh, close grip press. So that's kind of two different sets, one set that runs into a super set. What you can also do with that, that skull crusher 
motion is you can turn it into like a French curl where you're actually going behind your head and kind of almost doing a pullover. I'm not a massive fan of those because I feel like I get the same type of muscle work with an underhand grip um, pulled out using the cables. I get the same type of strain on my tricep by doing that. And plus when I do the, the French curl type, I feel like if the form isn't absolutely meticulously perfect, you're also using your lats too, because you're doing kind of a pullover as well. So if your arms are too straight, if you turn it into this kind of this pull, it's almost like you're doing a a, uh, a lat stretch. So um, I, I don't want that to happen today. That's not the purpose of my workout. So I'm gonna go into my second round of sets. Probably gonna get a lot fewer reps, that's okay. Um, I'm going to basically go until I physically and mentally can't stand the the tension and the pain anymore. So here goes. Again, be safe here. Don't be stupid. Use a racked bench if you can. I'm working out at home, so I don't have that, which is fine. But here we go. Ah. Two. Ah. Squeeze, get blood into the muscle. Ah. Here we go, super set. Oh, full rep, full rep, full, 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 short reps, keep the blood flowing. Ah, oh. full, full, amp. Ah, oh. all right, there we go. That's the second round. I'm gonna do one more. Now in my last video, um, I did lateral raises and I did front raises and typically I only do three rounds of that. I did four. Tonight with triceps, I'm probably still only gonna do three. Because yesterday, uh, I went a little overboard and I worked three different muscle groups last night. So, and then this morning, when I did my first round of lifting, I worked biceps. So um, I just used the barbell and I I did a standard grip and then I reversed it. I did an overhand grip, utilized more of the forearms, different heads of the bicep, and I made sure at the very bottom of the movement, very important, I used to not do this, which is why I don't have big arms uh, that I intend to change as I'm beginning to use this motion, but very important to, to stretch the arm out all the way at the bottom and to just really activate activate that, uh, that head of the bicep and then come up and stretch at the bottom, get the blood flowing and uh, get the complete muscle activated. One of the things with people when they lift weights and they don't see any results is that they aren't really activating the muscle. They may be creating the resistance, they may be making the mind-muscle connection, but if you're not really activating and getting that full range of motion at least a couple times throughout the set, uh, I, I really don't think you see as good of results as if you're, for instance, on our close grip, if, if we're doing the full stretch up and really squeezing those triceps, and then we're coming down and then we're just getting blood pumping into the triceps and, and keeping the resistance um, um, completely going as opposed to at the top of the, the movement, you're locked out. So there's, there's pros and cons to both, but you have to kind of teach the muscle to incorporate what you need it to do and grow. So let's do the last set here. Here we go. <clears throat> and up. Oh, here we go. Oh, you can even put your legs up on the bench like that if you want. For bench press, I wouldn't encourage it just because you want to drive with your legs. With triceps, it isolates a little bit. So I think it's kind of comfortable and it's definitely not a bad thing. Oh, these are hurting bad. Real bad. My arms are shaking. Yep. Up. Oh. Here we go. One. Partial. No. 
Four. Four. Yep. Four. Ow. Whew. All right, guys. There it is. That's one of my tricep workouts. I use at least two different ones during the week. Again, that's my barbell movement. At some point, I'll do the the cable version on the bow flex where I alternate between overhand pull down and underhand pull down grip just to get all the tricep activated and involved. Um, there's also some movements you can do with a dumbbell. You can certainly do an overhead press if you want, an overhead skull crusher, and you can do those standing or you can do that seated. I can move this bench up so that it's kind of like a, uh, a seating for a shoulder press. Uh, and then of course you can do tricep extensions where you're, or kickbacks people call them, where you have one knee up on the bench, one leg down on the floor and you're kicking the tricep back uh, with the dumbbell. You can do those with dumbbells or cables. But um, that's the tricep workout I do with the barbells. I'm sorry, barbell. And yeah, I can feel it, it burns. I'm out of breath because I'm out of shape. Um, but I'm happy and I'm gonna go get some post-workout nutrition. So thanks for watching guys. Please continue to watch. Please subscribe to this channel. Uh, please comment below, like it, share it with everyone and um, help me spread the word. And uh, I hope this helped you. Uh, I hope it helps you work out and gives you some practical tips. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.